types of, I know you covered some, uh, but what types of cancer in particular are most common in people with IBD and what are the causes? Yeah, I, I think the good news here, the, the common causes, the common cancers of people with IBD are really the same with the common cause of cancers of people in the general population, things like, you know, breast, uh, prostate, colorectal cancer. And most of that has nothing to do with IBD, which is, I think, tells you that IBD only has a very small effect on, on cancer itself. But yes, I think I see in the in the chat box, someone's asking about if you've had a colitis for a long time, do you have a higher risk of colon cancer? And mm -hmm. the answer is probably yes, but it depends on how much of your bowels evolved and how well controlled the colitis is. If you've got very well controlled colitis, uh, the evidence would suggest that your risk of cancer is, is no different from the general population. But poorly controlled inflammation in the colon over time will increase that risk. Uh, but again, that's another reason to monitor closely and to treat the disease better so that we can avoid those long-term complications. There's also a slightly higher risk of lymphoma in people with Crohn's and colitis. But that's not unique to Crohn's and colitis. That's really any chronic inflammation in the body will slightly increase your risk of lymphoma, but that risk is really very small. Okay. So hence the idea of you really need to, um, you, you showed us that graph where um, during the journey of the, of the disease, um, there's more and more complications. So the key is to prevent and control your disease as early as possible. 